Alright guys, so I figured it out. <clears throat> All I'm using is a standard automotive relay. I have I have it wired like this. 30 is my high current input. 87 is my output. 85 is my ground. And let's see 86 is my trigger. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But anyway, I just have a jumper between 87 and 86. Uh, my power supply here is switched on this old amp switch that I have here. So basically what happens <coughs> you turn your power on it comes to the relay then normally your 86 terminal is actually the trigger which you have a switch hooked up to to make it activate and close the circuit. Well, here I just have a jumper going from 87, my output from 30 to 87, jumpered to 86. So in theory, the only thing I'm missing here is a momentary switch between my 86 terminal and my 30 terminal. This is 30, my high current, and this is 86, my trigger. I keep checking my notes to make sure I'm not spitting out the wrong terminals. I basically jumpered the output back to the trigger. So once we complete the circuit, it keeps feeding power back to the trigger until our primary power supply is shut off. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Like I said, I turn it on. And then I just jumper these two terminals, my high current and my trigger. Huh. In theory, ah, had to get it something a little more conductive there. But once you jump it, once you jump it, it feeds itself and it keeps it on until you break the circuit on the power side and even if you reactivate the power it doesn't do shit until you hit your momentary switch which bridges these two terminals I gotta get something a little better here the hell am I doing wrong? There it is. It's got to get something a little more conductive, believe it or not. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I got figured out so far. Just wanted to share it with you guys. I think my switch is bad, is what's happening to me here. Yep, that's sure shit it. The switch is going bad. Oh, that's fucking embarrassing. Anyway, there it is, and this is considered an auto-latching relay. Once you turn it on, it stays on, regardless of the trigger signal. So there it is. Thanks, guys.